Kia ora, good evening. Welcome to the show that scoops the truth from the honeypot about the people who represent the people in our parliament, what they're up to and why it matters. I'm Kirby. And I'm Cody. This is I'm the Hive. There was panic across the nation today after news from the Beehive of a law to ban the internet because too much time is wasted on it. Here is our reporter, Marama. Yes, in an almost empty house today, the Minister of Statements and Announcements declared plans to ban the internet nationwide. This means... The... The Minister of Statements and Announcements declared plans for a new law to ban the internet nationwide. This could mean the country will be sent back to the last century, forced to turn to libraries and books to find information, and on a global level, we find ourselves as nothing more than roadkill on an information highway. So, what does the government hope to achieve with this new law, apart from making themselves widely unpopular with anyone born after 1990? Who knows? We'll bring you more information as it comes to hand. Back to you, Cody. It all seems unusual. Let's have a look at the speech the Minister made in the House earlier today. Mr. Speaker, this bill to bend the internet will have many benefits. Without the distraction of the internet, people would play more sports, talk to each other properly, exercise more, and become generally more smart. The internet is turning our minds to slush, and we are becoming a country of squared-eyed sofa potatoes obsessed with funny cats' videos. Banning the internet will not have only lasting benefits, but not only for our children, but for our children's children's children. And we understand the Minister for Statements and Announcements has just gone on an emergency holiday and is unavailable to the media. And what does the Prime Minister have to say about it all? Our partner Flona was at the Prime Minister's press conference earlier today. Hello everyone, thanks for coming. I want to address the speculation swirling around the ban of the internet bill. At this point, no decision has been made either way. It's safe to say that going forward, we definitely will not be looking backwards. Any word of the Minister for Statements and Announcements who has now gone on holiday? This is just a hard-working minister who's gone on a long overdue holiday with his family. I wouldn't read too much into it. When can we expect this legislation to be put before the House? It'll be put before the House after we've considered the issue. We're looking at finding a middle ground, which I don't think is over the top under the circumstances. What? No more questions. Thanks for coming. Here at Eye on the Hive, we've heard grumblings of the government digging up that old political hot potato of changing the voting age. Some are saying that lowering the voting age from 18 to 12 could gain around half a million new voters. Not exactly small fry. Packing down on a tight side of a media scrum is our reporter, Erica. Yes, I'm warming up for the media scrum, which is just about to happen here, as we await the Minister of Various Things, who is apparently calling for a new look at the age-old debate of voting age. Here comes the Minister. Minister, is it true that there has been a discussion once again about changing the voting age? Will there be an announcement soon? Well, an announcement is always a possibility. Could the voting age be changed from 18 to 12 to capture the youth vote? Well, when I was 12, all I wanted to do was climb trees and look at comics. But Minister, the question is, will the voting age be likely to change in your opinion? As you know, anything can change. I even changed my shoes this morning because I knew it was the right thing to do. Since I was going to do a lot of walking. Now excuse me please. Okay, the minister's not giving anything away at this stage, but we'll let you know what we know when we know it. Back to you, Kirby. Now it's time for the I Am The Hive by-election live special. Tonight we're looking at by-election for the seat of Our Lady of Victories. There are three parties who have provided candidates who are eager to win your vote. The square party candidate feels that lavender smells horrible. The, par the pear party candidate believes that homework is bad the beer party candidate claims that M3 mindfulness is helpful. Leading the debate is our reporter, Jacob. 
Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Meet the Candidates. So now, let's hear from the candidates. Inigo, let me turn to you first. What are you going to bring the people of New Zealand? Why should they vote for you? I will give everyone who votes for me one slice of cheese. And Georgia, how do you respond to that? Why should, why should the people of New Zealand elect you to the parliament? Uh, I will ban homework and there will be no more Mondays. And Anika, what do you see as the big issue for the country and the city? I think we need to make a statue of Appleine and Jace in every country. Um, thank you very much for all your time. Good luck to you all. Go over to you. Now it's over to Matthew and Aaron with a quick look at the political forecast based on Iron on the Hive political poll. Thanks, Cody and Kirby. Well, when we ask people what they believe is the most pressing issue in this coming election, and the results are in. 30% of those surveyed said that Peter Jackson should make a new movie. 45% said that people should vote for the National Party. 15% said that the chess team should get to nationals. And 10% said they did not know. No, and now the latest political opinion poll, the Square Party, tracking at a healthy 0%, up by 2. The Peer Party with 1%, the Beer Party also at 1%, and the Swag Party, no all at half time, with 15%, still saying they did not know. So at this stage of the game, it's fair to say this is still anyone's election. Back to the studio. Thank you. Finally, we like to end on a positive note. So tonight's feel-good political story involves one of our elected representatives in an effort to squat. Let's take a look now. I am here with Ivy, the popular MP from the Peer Party, who is here now to demonstrate that members of Parliament are not boring dullards with no sense of fun. So Ivy, what are you going to be doing for us today? Well, I am going to be doing squats. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's enough of that. Back to you in the studio. They say a week is a long time in politics. All the more reason to keep an eye on the hive. Good night!